Hi folks, Will Smith here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, pre-calculus lesson. This is graphing linear inequalities. It's a little bit easier than uh, what we've been through so far, but let's go ahead and do board problem number seven. Okay, and I'll start with the first one here. Uh, I made a t-chart and then uh, the greatest integer less than or equal to. Remember, just think of a number line, you guys. And that the integer that's to the left of negative 1.9 is, is negative 2. So negative 2 over 2 is going to get me negative 1. Okay, so all of those are going to get me negative 1 right there. So, and then <clears throat> as soon as I get to negative 2, it, um, negative 2 would be negative 2 also. So it would be a closed circle on negative 2 and then an open circle over on, on negative 1. So at negative 1, you get uh, negative 1 over 2. Uh, and all of these, the, the greatest integer that's to the left, uh, point, negative point 0.1 is negative 1, so negative 1 over 2. So these are all negative 1 half. These are all going to be uh, uh, 0. Okay, and then uh, so when I graph those guys, there's those guys being graphed. They're going up by a half as you're going along. And then when you fr uh, finish it up, there it is all finished up. So the stepping stones are 1 half, and I got the 1 half from this 2 up right here. Okay, let's graph this guy right here. Okay, this is an absolute value. Uh, it's opening up, or it's opening down because that's negative. In fact, it's going down. When you go over one, it goes down three. Okay, and then uh, uh, my vertex is up here at that plus two right here. So it's going up here, and then over one, down three on both sides. And it's a V-shaped graph, an absolute value. All right, okay, so now we're going to graph these linear inequalities. So let's just graph each one of these. Y is greater than. This is an Algebra 1 lesson. I just taught this lesson in my Algebra 1 class not too long ago. So I'm going to graph that plus two first, okay? And then I'm going to use the slope down one to the right two, okay? down one to the right two and it's a dotted line all right so there's my dotted line so it doesn't have the equals bar and then we're going to shade either this side or this side so we're going to test zero zero and if zero zero makes it yes then we shade the side zero zeros on if it makes it no then we shade the other side so when i plug in zero zero um, uh, i find out that's a no so i shade the opposite side okay if it was yes i'd shade the side that zero zeros on Okay, let's try, uh, let's try this guy. Okay, this is a V. My V starts at the, to the left at 1, and it's going up. So it's going that way like that. And it's a solid V because it has an equals bar right there. Okay, and then we're going to test 0, 0. 0, 0 makes it true then. Then we shade that side that 0, 0 is on. And since 0, 0 is on the, on the outside, then we shade the outside, or underneath it anyways. Okay. If it was no, I'd shade the inside. Okay, here's another one. Okay, this one's going to be a dotted V, and it's to the right. So it's going to be right here, and it's going to be a dotted V going up like that. And then we're going to test 0, 0. All right, so test 0, 0. And that was a no this time, so I shade, since uh, 0, 0 is on the outside, I shade the inside of the V. All right, easy, huh? Okay, X, is, uh, X equals 3 is a vertical line, so um, uh, there's my vertical line. And to the left is going to be less than or equal to 3. Okay, how about this guy? All right, I'm going to do uh, my intercept methods here. Um, uh, when x equals 0, uh, negative 2 goes into 8 negative 4 times. And when y equals 0, x goes into 8 eight times. Okay, so there's that right there. It's a dotted one and test 0, 0. Uh, made it yes, so I shade that little piece right there. All right, and then this guy right here, this is an intersection graph. So I'm going to graph uh, x plus y less than or equal to 3 and x plus y greater than negative one okay this one's going to be dotted this one's going to be solid and it's the intersection where they overlap each other so um, uh, so i'm going to go ahead and graph those guys those should be parallel lines by the way um, and when i graph those and then the intersection should be in the middle you can test zero zero on both of those and you guys that are in my class that will be your homework